Hello church, today we're studying Psalm 142 and we're getting well on toward the end of the psalm and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. This has been a delightful study uh, and, and I think you've seen through the study of the psalms that there is hardly any emotion that we have missed. I mean, we've had the highest highs and the lowest lows and everything in between. Loneliness, uh, betrayal, joy, exuberance, despair. And throughout the Psalms, uh, we also notice that regardless of where the emotions start or where the, how high they are or how low they are, they all come back to God. And a common theme of the Psalm is to start in a low place and end in a high place. To start dwelling on the individual's challenges and pouring out their heart on the challenges of what they're facing and then transition into recognizing God and praising Him and exalting Him for His steadfastness, for His mercy, for His grace, for His strength, for His deliverance. And so that's been a general overall theme of the psalm. We've seen that played out in a number of different ways. Um, and so today's psalm is, is kind of along that line. It's a psalm of David when he was in the cave or shortly thereafter re reflecting back on it. Uh, and it says uh, a maskil of David, and that word means an instruction or a, a teaching, a, a ponderance, as it were. And so David is thinking back and thinking through this, and he's sharing it. Um, and it says, no man cared for my soul. What a, what a lonesome thought. What a, what a, what a, what a terrible thought, but, but that's the name of the psalm. And, and David starts out, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. He said, I didn't just suffer in silence, I cried out. And we see the, the, the transparency of David in the psalms when he cried out to the Lord on many occasions. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. He, he, he showed the Lord, not that the Lord didn't know, but, but David was, had that relationship. He was a man after God's own heart. He had that relationship where he could pour out his soul, where he could pour out his troubles and come before the Lord with them. And you and I need to come before the Lord with our troubles and pour them out. Don't pour them out necessarily in front of people, but before the Lord. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, despair, a trying time. In verse 4, I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. The right hand was the place of the, from the king's standpoint or from anyone's standpoint. The right hand man is always uh, the next person in line, is, is the next person in command, the next person in power, next person in authority. He said, I looked and there was no one there. He had no one to support him. And David knows the difference between being surrounded and being supported. He was blessed early in his life to have a, a time with Jonathan. And he knew what support was. And then later in life, he was surrounded oftentimes. But seldom do we see David really being supported. And so he knew the difference. I cried to thee, O Lord. And then in verse 8, he comes back to uh, the summation and the praise of God. He says, bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. Thy righteousness shall compass me about. He'll be surrounded by the righteousness of God for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. David knew that God was going to deal bountifully with him regardless of where he was at the moment. Be blessed today. Psalm 142.